Hey everyone, welcome to this weekend sidereal astrology forecast. This is for October 26th to the 28th of 2018. All right, so this weekend we are coming off of this full moon. We just had midweek on Wednesday. So entering the disseminating phase, which is a great time for taking whatever shifts happen this weekend or maybe some new insights and starting to implement them uh, into our lives. So great for that. And the moon will be in Taurus this weekend, keeping everything nice and grounded as it already has been. Uh, but likely themes today around our resourcefulness and taking things slowly and steadily. Now, as we get into Saturday and Sunday, the sun is going to sextile Saturn, adding to even more of that groundedness. So with this, likely some good patience, self-discipline. Great day for anything that does require a bit of uh, responsibility. All right, so that's the uh, weekend. Let's take a look at all of this here in more detail when we return. All right, so here's the sky for this weekend. We'll look at this for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So you can see the moon will be in Taurus all three days there. Um, and again, we are using the actual size of the constellation. Uh, a good example here is that Taurus is a very large constellation versus Aries that is a much smaller one. Um, and so this uh, true sidereal astrology does take into account the actual size of the constellations, which does change the signs from mainstream astrology. So if you are new, definitely check out that link down below for more information. All right, so let's go ahead and break this down one day at a time, starting with Friday. So we will likely notice a bit of the shift into the Taurus side of things. Again, the full moon energy will still be in effect. And that was and still is about integrating both the receptive and active aspects of ourselves. So again, anything involving that regarding insights or shifts or pivots in our life of what was this development of both of these receptive and active qualities excellent weekend for implementing those types of things and energies in general so with the moon in taurus though um, themes likely shifting on friday around our resourcefulness our matters pertaining to our inner resources great time to really get into our natural senses um, this could be our natural gifts our natural inner sense of self-worth, inner stability, inner security, all of this leading to what can be a great time for enjoying the material life. Uh, Earth in particular, connecting to nature, enjoying the sensual life, good meals, you know, things like this that really do invoke that grounded, stable aspect of life. And it, again, it all comes from within. So as we cultivate that inner self-worth and be grateful for what we have, we naturally notice what we do have and can relax into that. All right, so no major aspects on um, Friday, but we will have the moon opposite up to Mercury and Jupiter. So on a very minor note on Friday, just a really good day to integrate both the mind and body, you could say. There could be a bit of a rift collectively uh, between our mind and body, between our feelings and thoughts. And so anything that does help bring conscious attention to our feelings and perhaps express our feelings through writing or through communication can be a great way of working with that. It can be very constructive in that way. Now, once we get into Saturday with the moon still in Taurus, we will like likely start to feel a bit of this sun sextiling up to Saturn. All right. So this is not a major aspect here, but um, a bit of an opening. So it's just this sort of energy that's available. And what it is, it's this opening here to maybe do some things today that do require some responsibility or do require a bit of that patience, self-discipline. All right, so it could be work, it could be long-term plans, it could just be feeling this way, it could be responsibility in relationships, right, maybe with home, you know, whatever it might be, whatever the theme is, there is this opening to develop these Saturn qualities, which is all about seeing the long-term, right, and sort of what you could say, sacrificing the short-term enjoyments and gains for the long-term ones, right? And this is where that patience comes in. That's where that discipline and resp responsibility comes in, which is certainly available to be utilized this weekend, especially with so much grounded earth energy. All right, so that's the most important aspect this weekend. We'll likely feel that both um, Saturday and Sunday. 
And again, the moon will be in Taurus all three days there. The moon will likely start to shift into Gemini the very later part of Sunday, but we'll feel it mostly on Monday. But we could notice a theme nonetheless, um, the later part of Sunday around maybe using our practical mind. So learning, maybe matters pertaining to communication. And the reason that's likely emphasized is the moon, but also Mercury is getting very close to a conjunction with Jupiter. They're going to conjoin on Monday, but it does go with an orb here later part of Sunday. So uh, it's a great time with this conjunction to see the broader perspective on things, right? Jupiter is the more expansive mind. Mercury is the more practical mind. So we're seeing things in this more expansive, broader perspective. Makes it really good for seeing potentials, maybe opportunities, maybe just feeling a bit buoyant in terms of our communication and thinking. You know, again, a bit expansive there. It's kind of this blend between what you might call the left side of the brain and the right side of the brain, right? The practical and the more theoretical and expansive. So really good for those types of things, but I'll talk more on that on the Monday forecast. All right, so everyone, that is the weekend in a nutshell. Have a fantastic weekend. Thank you again for watching and all of your support with this channel. And I will see you all on Monday for the daily forecast. Take care.